Has the clock really been ticking? It's 1928 and a Petri dish left next to an open window is about to revolutionise modern medicine. It's penicillin, the first antibiotic. This wonder drug and other antibiotics will go on to saving millions of lives. As each time we used them, misused them and overused them, we gave the bacteria a chance to become resistant. Scientists have been unable to bring new antibiotics to market. It's 2050. The cupboard is bare. Has the clock really been ticking towards a post-antibiotic future? Where drug-resistant infections kill 10 million people a year? Where chemotherapy is unsafe? Where simple surgeries are too risky to perform? The resistant bacteria reach the skin or intestines via food or water. But the germs are also transmitted further. If someone gets ill or is injured, they can pass on serious infections. If antibiotics don't work, the bacteria quickly spread and can lead to life-threatening blood poisoning. 2020. Climate change is headline news. Forests burn. Scientists predict rising sea levels. There is a sense that time for action is running out. And then comes COVID. A million dead and counting. City, countries under lockdown. Economies radically reshaped. And against this backdrop, a chance to change the narrative on that other looming global catastrophe. The one we already know about. Antibiotic resistance. Because everyone sees now, we can mobilise. We can take individual and collective responsibility. And we must be prepared. The bacteria are a part of our ecosystem, around us, within us. Trillions upon trillions, helpful as well as harmful. And resistance is natural, to be expected, until a random mutation enables the bacteria to overcome the drug. At each line, the antibiotic is 10 times more concentrated, but there are also more mutations. It's evolution by natural selection, only very, very fast. We live in a Petri dish too, but by increased misuse, we only encouraged the mutations. We overprescribed. Of course we did. Medicine is not an exact science. Diagnosis is difficult, and people expect to be cured. The building is catching fire. The edifice is crumbling. The cupboard is running bare. In some ways, COVID has made the problem worse. In large quantities of antibiotics have been prescribed to patients. If it motivates us, if the world mobilizes, individuals, doctors, scientists, yes, governments and policy makers too, the solutions are scientific but they're also economic and they are societal. It's a collective effort. It's not a sort of an imaginary projection that it's going to get worse. We, we know that's going to happen. The point is we do have the opportunity to do something about it. Mm -hmm.